it is 9 46 a.m and um i was supposed to have been going to apply for this child care today a different one because um, i asked my home girl i asked one of my friends because she'd be a reference i already got two references but i need another one i need three even though myself say i need two i'm getting three because the paperwork say three but anyway I asked one of my homegirls, could she be a reference for this daycare that I'm applying for, which I was talking about my sister daycare. She don't know that, but anyway. She was like, no, come apply for the one I work at. And I was like, I sure will. But anyway, now this morning, she texted me and said that the manager at the other site. So I was kind of frustrated between, do I still want to just go and apply at the other site? Because I know where both sites at. Or do I just want to go out in the ministry and not worry about it? So here I am. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so I'm waiting on the friends to pick me up. We just did Zoom. I gotta take my Claritin and my Glipizad. Um, and yeah, that's just my morning. I'm gonna go ahead out in the ministry and then I'm gonna go apply for the job. And hopefully it works out because you never know. One of the friends may give me a ride. They usually always do. Um, but I just want to be like, like all my business. When it, you know, they give you a ride every morning. Oh, where you applying at? Where you going to be working? What's going to be your hours? What's going to be your pay? Like, girl, did you give me a ride? Or are you trying to interview me? So I'm a little naggy this morning a little bit. But slowly but surely coming around. Hope you guys have a better day than me. <laughs> it is 10.04 a.m. And I'm still waiting on my ride. <laughs> but anyway, I did just get a call from one of the Petersburg jobs. Um, they don't have any cases right now. So I don't know what was the point of them calling me, to be honest then. But yeah, but they were interested in my application. And they're going to, you know, keep me on standby. That's pretty much what she said, because they don't have no um, cases right now. So, that was good news. I mean, all the news I wanted to hear, but it still was good news. Um, yeah, and I'm still waiting for my ride. I just talk to them and everything. And it's been 30 minutes since the group even ended the call. But anyway, so I'm um, out and about with my teacher. She had to run in um, CVS right quick. I feel much better. We had a great conversation this morning. I didn't realize she had been through so much, you know, and we have a lot of similarities too. So I'm glad that the elders, the brothers um, paired us together for her to be my Bible teacher. And I like her. So um, anyway, I've been studying with her like a month now, but I'm having a much better morning, and it's only, um, I think it's about 10.30. <laughs> you talk about patience. I really had to, like, show it today. It is still, it is 11.49, and we literally at the first house. We literally at the first house out in service. Her and her husband are at the, um, door. So... Her husband at the door, and today, maybe today just ain't my day. I don't know. It's like I started off being a little, you know, cha change of plans had happened. Like I said, I was had a plan at the daycare, but we're actually in the territory right up the street from the daycare. So what I'm gonna do is I'm still get them to um, take me back and just take my resume and my certification there, since we in the area, and. I've been looking on the site to see what I'm going to say at the first door that I go to. We're not doing door to door. We're just doing return visits. So. But you talk about patience today. I really had to. <laughs> hey, so it is literally 1 p.m. And I got home about 30 minutes ago. I got home about 12, 25. And they is like on my roof. Like, it sounds like they ready to cave in the ceiling. I'm getting scared. I ain't taking no nap. 
Mm-mm. I'm gonna finish these letters for the ministry. Cause yeah. And then I'm like try to finish that quiz. Cause I ain't I started it late last night. <laughs> I get scared, y'all. I be so scared when these renovations over it. But they in my building now, so they did like four buildings and now they in my building, so yeah, I will be writing letters for the ministry. And that's that. Since we didn't do many houses today, I think that'll be good instead of taking a nap. How to rescue people from godly devotion out of trial. Jehovah knows how to rescue people of godly devotion out of trial. That's why you need to read from your book. It's clear here. I'm getting a little irritated all over again because my sister keep blowing me up. Like, did you do the training? Did you do this? Did you do that? No. No. She ain't going to know what I did because I'm not going to tell you. You'll know when I get back to work Monday. Remember? You had me off Thursday and Friday. So don't worry about what I'm doing and what I'm accomplishing while I'm off. You'll know when I get back to work Monday. The world don't keep blowing me up. Then she want me to sign my son up for her daycare. My son is 12 years old, so he still qualifies for daycare. Right? But he's autistic. I'm not signing him up for your daycare. He leaves in the summertime with his dad. And then on top of that, you're not patient enough with the autistic child that you already have. We're good. So now I'm starting to wonder, like, the way she's been down on me about keep sending me the link and stuff. But the time I sign up for child care, it's like, did you really want me to work for you? Or did you just want to use us so you can get paid more? Because we know that with autistic children, you get paid more um, for your daycare. Like, girl, leave me alone. I don't know. I'm doing what I'm supposed to do to stay employed or to be employed with you. Don't keep on blowing my phone up like that because now it's giving me, it's making my mind go elsewhere, put it that way. Like, I understand you're trying to make sure I get things accomplished, but I'm a grown woman. I've always handled my business. Please back the fuck up. Leave me alone, for real. Because now it's really like, I don't want to have to like cuss her out, for real, for real. Like, I've already been having a off day. How to rescue people from godly devotion out of trial. Jehovah knows how to rescue people of godly devotion out of trial. That's why you need to read from your book. It's clear here. So my son just finished having his Bible study. We end up having to have it at the Burger King. Um, Cause when he got out of school, we went and got something to eat, and it was close time for his study. And I didn't want him to miss it, and I didn't want him to miss it or reschedule. So we had it at the Burger King, and now I'm on the way to drop him off to his daddy house. But his dad was not here, so we're waiting on his dad to come back home. Um, he ready to meet us at his house, um, but we sitting at the bus stop right now. Yeah. Got about 15 minutes before my bus comes, so I hope his daddy hurry up. Well, as you guys can see, he did not come in time. So, we're headed to my homegirl house so she can sign these sheets to be my reference for the day here. We are now on the second bus to go where I gotta go. <laughs> we just made it to the hood. I wanted the two lady to get back on that bus. Do this bring back memories, baby? No. <laughs> this the hood we moved from. In the pool of drugs. We only been gone for about three years. Not even a whole three years yet. It's ready to be three at the end of the year. But anyway. So my baby daddy ready to pick his son up. Because that's my baby daddy's son. <laughs> um, but I'm going to ask him, could he take me? home when he pick him up because yeah you the reason i'm late doing it right now but anyway my home girl did my reference i'm hyped <laughs> and now i guess i'm headed home i'm asking my baby dad to take me home and he better <laughs> 